In this video, you'll learn how to start your own online store, own your own website without any technical skills whatsoever. Now, if you're currently selling on eBay, Etsy, or Amazon, and you want to learn how to start an online store, you were probably overwhelmed by the vast number of options at your disposal. Should I pay for an all-in-one shopping cart solution? Which cart is the best? Should I run my online store on WordPress with an e-commerce plugin? Which plugin is the best? Should I use a free open source cart and host my own website? Which free solution is the best? There are literally hundreds of different options to choose from in terms of website builders, shopping carts, services, etc. And it's a big decision because it carries long-term implications for your business. Once you make a choice, it is a pain to switch. So this video will give you an overview of the different shopping cart options out there and provide you with recommendations depending on your specific needs and skill set. And none of these require any technical experience whatsoever. So first off, I want to dispel the misconception that you need to spend thousands of dollars to put up a good looking e-commerce website. So for example, there are many fully featured open source shopping cart software packages out there that are 100% free. And in fact, if you are comfortable with a computer, you can launch a fully featured shopping cart for less than $5 per month. And incidentally, this is the exact route that my wife and I took to start our e-commerce store. And you can click on the link below to check out my seven figure online store, which is built on free software. Now, because I was on a major budget early on, I ran my online store on a free open source platform and spent only $5 a month for the first two years. And I'll show you later how to do this in this video. Now today, this store generates over seven figures per year, and I'm still on the exact same free platform that I started with. Anyway, my point is that none of the solutions that I will be recommending to you will cost very much money. And there are seven, eight, and nine figure businesses running on these platforms today. Do I have your attention yet? Here are your three main options. First off, you have your free open source shopping cart. And with this option, the source code for your shopping cart is provided to you at no cost, but you must host it yourself on a computer server that you manage. This is by far the cheapest solution available, but it requires some work on your part to maintain. Regardless, you do not need to know how to code, but it does help to have some technical knowledge. Your second option is a fully hosted shopping cart. This is the easiest and most straightforward solution available. And by paying a third party company, they will handle everything for you, including managing your shopping cart, hosting your website, maintaining your servers. You literally don't need to worry about anything in regards to keeping your website up and running. And finally, your third option is a hybrid fully hosted shopping cart. If you already run a website and you just want to add e-commerce functionality to it, then a hybrid solution like Equid or BigCommerce might be the right solution for you. So let's go over those options now. Option number one, use an open source shopping cart. Now open source software is software that is maintained by a small group or community. And the beauty is that anyone can use it for free. Linux is probably the most famous example. And there are many open source shopping carts available that you can download at zero cost. Now the main advantage with an open source shopping cart is that you aren't tied down to a specific company or service provider. You can take your store wherever you want and you pay absolutely nothing. Now going with an open source platform is a lot like owning an unlocked cell phone. You are free to use any carrier that you want, but you own the phone and it is free. The other huge benefit is that you are in 100% control of the source code, i.e. you own the phone and all the tech. And as a result, if you need to add special functionality that is very specific to your store, you can either implement it yourself or hire a developer. In other words, going open source means that you are the boss. No one will be able to change the terms and conditions no one will be able to kick you off or raise prices on you. Now, over the years, I played around with many open source shopping carts, including WooCommerce, OpenCart, PrestaShop, and Magento. But my favorite one by far is WooCommerce. Not only is it easy to use, stable, and built on top of the number one blogging platform in the world, but it also has a great developer community as well. And did I mention that it's free? So the first thing we're gonna talk about is WooCommerce. WooCommerce is the most widely used shopping cart in the world, and it actually boasts the largest third-party developer ecosystem of any e-commerce platform. Now, the best part about WooCommerce is that it runs on top of the world's most popular content management system, WordPress. And if you already have a WordPress blog and you just want to add e-commerce functionality to it, then going with WooCommerce is a no-brainer. In this day and age, content marketing with a blog is par for the course. As a result, it makes sense to integrate your blog and your e-commerce store together on the same platform. Now, the only downside to running a shopping cart on top of WordPress is that WordPress was not designed for e-commerce out of the box. As a result, WooCommerce and other e-commerce plugins will tend to run a little slower unless they are optimized. 
But on the flip side, there are thousands of free plugins out there that will speed up and add extra functionality to your online store. And recently, my nine and 11 year old kids started an e-commerce store selling entrepreneurship t-shirts online with WooCommerce. And if a nine and an 11 year old can launch an online business, then so can you. My kids used their own money to start this business and spent less than $3 from start to finish. So right now, WooCommerce is one of the easiest shopping carts to install and get running right away. And why is that? It's because most, if not all, web hosts offer a one-click installer. You pretty much just have to click on one button and voila, you are ready to go. In fact, I put together a quick five-minute video tutorial that shows exactly how to get started with WooCommerce from complete scratch for less than $3 in the show notes below this video. Now, the next card I want to talk about is OpenCart. OpenCart is actually my second favorite open source shopping cart that is fast, easy to use, and has a very modern looking feel to it. And what I like about OpenCart is the backend administration interface, which is simple and intuitive. In addition, there are many companies and independent developers that are very active in developing website templates, themes, and plugins. Now, the only downside to OpenCart is that if you need additional functionality that OpenCart doesn't offer out of the box, you have to purchase and install your own plugins. Also, because OpenCart isn't nearly as popular as WooCommerce, there's far less developer support and free plugin availability. But overall, the out-of-the-box features should be more than adequate for most users, and the cart is lightning fast. Now, when it comes to open source platforms, the main downside of using an open source platform is that you are the boss, and being in control of your own platform is a double-edged sword. So for example, you have to manage your own server. You have to make sure your site doesn't go down. You must keep your shopping cart up to date, and if anything goes wrong, you are responsible for finding the solution. In other words, you have to be resourceful. You have to be a good problem solver because eventually something will go wrong. Now, over the years, I've come to realize that using an open source e-commerce solution and self-hosting may not be the right solution for everybody. Some people just don't feel comfortable installing or tweaking their own website, let alone modifying an open source shopping cart. Now, one time I tried to help a coworker of mine launch her online store using OpenCart, and unfortunately, she didn't possess the basic knowledge to even make simple edits to her store and had to ask for help for every little change. So ultimately, I had her go with a fully hosted solution because of the added support. Now, while open source shopping carts are free, flexible, and powerful, you have to decide whether your time is better utilized on marketing and sales as opposed to website management. Which brings us to option number two, use a fully hosted shopping cart. Now, if you have the budget and you don't want to deal with the hassle of managing your own website, then it often makes sense to pay a company to run your shopping cart for you. And a fully hosted shopping cart platform like Shopify or BigCommerce basically does everything. They manage your shopping cart. They provide technical support. They make it extremely easy to get started. And in other words, you are paying for convenience. While I usually advise that everyone who is interested in opening an online store give open source a try and host their own website, some people just require a little bit of extra handholding in order to get started with their online business. As a result, it makes sense for certain entrepreneurs to go with a fully hosted shopping cart for peace of mind. Some of you don't want to go through the trouble of setting everything up and want everything just to work out of the box. Some of you would rather focus on marketing and sales rather than tinker with your website. And in my experience, 85% of you should probably pay the extra money and go with a fully hosted platform unless you are comfortable with technology. In fact, there are many advantages of going with a fully hosted e-commerce platform that may not be too obvious right off the bat. So below are some advantages that immediately come to mind. One, you never have to worry about getting hacked. During the early stages of my online store, I actually got hacked a couple of times and it took me a while to put safeguards into place. So if you never want to have to deal with site security, then go with a fully hosted cart. You also never have to worry about server downtime. When you host your own site, sometimes you can make an edit and screw things up. Sometimes your server goes down and you have to find out what happened. Now, early on with my store, my site used to crash from time to time and it was very stressful. Backups are also usually automated. I remember losing all my data once and it wasn't pretty. So if you don't want to worry about backing up your data, then go with a fully hosted platform. And then finally, you'll always have someone there to help. Going the open source route can be a lonely endeavor. Basically, you must be a self-learner and know how to use the forums very effectively. But with a fully hosted cart, you can usually get someone on the phone within just a couple of minutes. Now, I've spent a lot of time these past few years test driving fully hosted shopping carts, and I found that both Shopify and BigCommerce offer an awesome hosted shopping cart solution for a low monthly fee. 
Now, the number one concern most of you probably have is whether you'll be able to design a good looking website without hiring a designer. And I'm happy to say that both BigCommerce and Shopify make it super easy to create a professional looking site. So BigCommerce, for example, offers an intuitive drag and drop interface where you can shuffle things around with your store at the click of a button. And both Shopify and BigCommerce also offer a pretty good library of standard templates for you to start out with. All in all, you can throw up a decent looking store with a matter of minutes without knowing a lick of HTML. Now their backend features and tracking are also top notch and there's built in support for many popular third party apps and integrations to your favorite marketing tools and social media sites like Facebook and Pinterest. Now that being said, both Shopify and BigCommerce each have their own pros and cons. And if you are trying to decide between the two, I actually created a very detailed video that you can check out below. Now, of course, there's downsides of using a fully hosted platform. All of the benefits of a fully hosted platform come at an increased cost and you sacrifice some amount of control over your site. So for example, both Shopify and BigCommerce have raised their prices over the years and are constantly changing their policies. So for example, if you want to sell anything remotely controversial, like hemp related products, some fully hosted platforms will shut you down. And recently a friend of mine actually got kicked off of Shopify for selling CBD products. Now the cost of a fully hosted platform can quickly add up as well. And you can't judge the overall cost based on the base price alone. So for example, many of Shopify's plugins carry a monthly fee that must be factored into the equation. And to give you a rough idea, my wife and I, we pay $50 a month to host our seven figure e-commerce store along with six other websites on the same web host. Now, if we went with Shopify or BigCommerce, we would easily be paying $500 or more for the exact same features. So once again, if you're willing to put in the work and learn the ropes, then hosting your website yourself is almost always the most flexible and economical choice. But if you want to skip the early headaches and just start selling, then fully hosted could be for you. Now, finally, there's option number three, which is to use a hybrid shopping cart. Now, if you want to add shopping cart functionality to your existing website without breaking or changing anything, then a hybrid solution like Equid or BigCommerce might be your best bet. A hybrid shopping cart is exactly how it sounds. A company like Equid or BigCommerce hosts the e-commerce portion of your website on their servers and you simply add buy buttons or a small piece of code to your existing site. Now this solution offers three main advantages. One, you can keep your website as is without having to change or migrate platforms. Two, the e-commerce portion of your website will not bog down or slow down your site. And three, you get a fully featured shopping cart that can take transactions online. Now, if you are currently running a WordPress blog and you don't want to deal with an e-commerce plugin that could slow down your site, then BigCommerce has an amazing offering that seamlessly integrates a fully hosted shopping cart to your existing blog. And you get the best of both worlds. You can continue to use WordPress as your main blogging platform and BigCommerce will run your shopping cart on the exact same domain, which is ideal for search engine optimization. So at this point, I've given you a lot of choices. So which one should you choose? And ultimately, only you can answer that question. I've already narrowed down the field from hundreds to just a handful of shopping carts for you. Most, if not all these shopping carts can provide you with a free test drive of the front end and back end of the storefront as well. So do your own due diligence and run through the features of each cart to determine what you need. Now I would naturally start with one of the open source shopping cart options that I've recommended because they are free. In addition, you have full control over the source code of your cart and you can add new features at any time. WooCommerce, the open source shopping cart I recommend has a very strong developer community that is constantly adding new plugins and additional functionality for free. Now if coding or installation is way over your head, then I would then look at some of the paid options that I mentioned above like Shopify or BigCommerce. Again, keep in mind that once you choose a shopping cart, it is extremely hard to migrate to another platform. Plus the fees with respect to the fully hosted solutions may seem small at first, but will substantially increase once your store kicks into high gear. Just a quick note here, I'm often asked about Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, and other super cheap fully hosted shopping cart solutions. While these platforms are okay for a very basic shop, they lack extensibility and integration to important and crucial third-party services. As a result, you will quickly outgrow these cheap services quickly as your store grows. Now to sum things up, if you don't wanna deal with any website management and wanna focus on selling your products, then go with either BigCommerce or Shopify. And here is a quick comparison table. But if you're willing to learn how to manage your own site and be in full control, then consider using WooCommerce, which is free. Now, the final question is, what do I personally use to run my seven figure online store? Well, currently I'm actually on OS Commerce, which is an open source shopping cart that I chose back in 2007 when there were very few options. 
Heck, back in the day, the only fully hosted option was Yahoo Merchant Solutions. Now, even though I would not advise anyone use OS Commerce today, my trusty open source shopping cart powers a seven figure e-commerce business and is equally as powerful as a fully hosted platform like Shopify or BigCommerce. And if I were to do it all over again, I would probably go with WooCommerce. And if I wasn't around to manage my cart and my wife was the only person running our store, I'd probably go with Shopify or BigCommerce. But overall, you have to decide where you wanna spend your time and whether the cost savings and control are worth it. Good luck. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.